So I'm really hoping this Ace Hardware has nuts and bolts because the one I normally do goes go to does. I've never looked for like nuts and bolts here. Most Ace Hardwares do, but if they don't, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be irked because we came all the way over here for nothing. But we'll see. Here, you're gonna have to film for me. All right. This is probably gonna take a while. Nope, that's too small. Is it? Oh, never mind. Found it. <laughs> I don't know how far it screws in. It probably won't screw in far enough. I don't know how deep they drilled these, but I'm going to need to find some washers for it too. That fits though. If I can't find one shorter, I can just cut it off. All right, let's find these. Or you can turn this off. It's gonna take a minute to find all of them because I'm gonna need. I got it all. I spent 43 freaking dollars on hardware for all this stuff and didn't even find every single piece I needed. But it's all stainless steel, so hopefully I don't have to worry about rust issues and the rest of it's aluminum. This stuff is heavy. But oh, oh, and I, I got, I couldn't find Scotch Bright, but I got steel wool so I can like polish up all my old dirty bolts that I pull out of the car and so they'll be nice and clean when I put it back in. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm back home. Um, I got all the hardware I need in this bag for the uh, chassis mount. I opted for, I probably already told you this, but I got it all um, stainless steel. So hopefully that'll prevent rusting issues and what have you. It was expensive. It was like 38 bucks for all of it. So. Yeah, that, that kind of sucked to pay for, for some nuts and bolts, but gotta do what I gotta do. Um, I'm pretty sure this wing's gonna need some modifying, so it fits perfectly. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. Uh, yeah, let's let's do it. So I have all the wing chassis mount pieces laid out. Those right there, these, and that thing. Um, there's one thing I was I noticed when I was kind of fiddling around with it. That hole right there and the hole on that side aren't quite wide enough. They need to be notched out just a tad so that it goes on flush. That hole's on, that one doesn't want to go. So I'm gonna notch out those two holes, notch them out just a tad bit so that it'll slide on with ease. So that'll be my first task notch out those holes just a tad so i'm just going to take like kind of a big ish drill bit and just kind of run it along the edge of the hole just so it, it'll kind of clearance it out just a little bit so that way hopefully it goes over the bolts on the back of the car like it's supposed to All right, uh, you probably can't see, but I notched it out just a tad bit and just a tad bit on that side. You probably can't see that, but it's not a perfect circle anymore. But I did it on both sides so it'll be even. I just had like one big notch on one side. All right, let's see if that was enough. Bam. Yeah, that's perfect. That was just enough. All right, let's move on to some of the next pieces. All righty, so I believe, I think these actually go on first before this thing does. So pull that off, pull these out. I'm just gonna kind of loosely bolt this stuff in just to kind of see how it goes. And then I'll tighten everything down and kind of mess around and see how sturdy it is. I actually just realized I don't know where the bolts are, or the nuts that go on the end of these. I'm gonna to have to find those because I have no idea where they are. 
yeah, that sucks. One thing I forgot to mention, uh, that I also, the reason I picked up the uh, steel wool, I probably, I might have said this in the previous clip, but I picked up some steel wool so that as I'm, as I'm pulling out big, like, nasty bolts like this, you can see that, I can, uh, I'm going to throw them, I'm going to throw them in the drill, just kind of spin them in the drill and try to get some of the, the nastiness off of them. That's the plan anyway, so we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see, this is before, and I'm going to throw it in the drill now, then I'll show you the after. And here's the after. It's not a huge difference. Well, I mean, yeah, it kind of is a pretty big difference. It's not as shiny as I would like because uh, it's still wool. If I had, like, scotch Bright, which I couldn't find at the time, it'd probably look a little bit better, but at least it's not rusty anymore. And the threads are a little bit cleaned off. So, yeah, we'll throw this back in the car. I'm pretty sure it goes like that. That looks right. <laughs> All right, now that I got the uh, that stuff on, I'm going to throw on the uprights. For those, I got some uh, pretty big kahunas for these. These, uh, these are the stainless steel. I don't know what size they are, and I got locking nuts for them, so hopefully, I won't have any issues with this coming, you know, moving around while I'm driving or corroding or anything like that so yeah that's what I'm using for the uprights now I don't know if it goes on the inside or or the outside or the inside I'm going to try the outside I guess and just hope that works if it doesn't align with the wing then I will swap it around I guess This is looking so sick already. <laughs> okay, one thing that I've yet to figure out is exactly where these bolt up. I got bolts for them, and I know they go down here to support the wing from flexing like this. They go down, they go down up under the car to prevent the wing from flexing like that. Um, I know it att where it attaches to this side. I gotta figure out where it attaches to that side. But once I figure that out, I'll show you. All right, so come to find out that that uh, that little piece I just showed you, it attaches to where the car holds onto the sway bar. And I didn't get a bolt for that. I gotta go f probably back to Ace Hardware to get a um, bolt for that. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna finish this uh, test fit and then I'll just go get it when I'm done making this video. But, uh, there it is, and it attaches right there on that bottom one where it holds the sway bar. Yeah. I, uh, I didn't take that into account when I went to go get bolts. I knew I was going to be short on something, but that's fine. I don't need that for the test fit at least. So, I guess I will just go ahead and finish what I was doing, and uh, we'll just figure that stuff out later. All right, that's, that's pretty much it for the mock-up of the custom stuff. Now I just got to go grab the, uh, the carbon fiber deck that goes on top and fit that up. And then we should be kind of good to post it up on Instagram and flex a little bit. Uh, here it is. It's so big, it doesn't really fit in the frame. Oh, oh wait. Oh. I almost destroyed this thing on the way out of the house, but boy is it big and aggressive. Oh yeah, I can't wait to try this on. <laughs> okay, discovery, uh, just like I had to do on the other parts, uh, I realized these holes aren't, these are the bolts that go through those holes. They actually say BCL with the lightning, whatever that thing is on them, you can't see that. But that's nice hardware. But like I was saying, 
uh, these holes are too close together. So I'm gonna have to notch out right there and notch out right there just a little bit so the bolts can go in smooth. And I thought, cause if I try to force it, force them to go in, it might crack the carbon fiber or something. I don't know. Cause they, they don't go straight because the holes are too close. That ended up working out. Uh, got it. Um, this thing is so big. Got them uh, mounted up. It's so hard to do with one hand. Okay. Um, see if I can, uh, without help, because there's nobody else here, see if I can get this set up on the, the whatchamahoosit. Be nice if I had some help right now. Oh crap! I forgot to get. I forgot to get the bolts. Where? Where? Are the bolts? Oh god! All right, got the bolts set up in there. They're just sitting there. Uh, attempt number two. Hopefully, I can. I can. Ah crap! They gotta go the other way. I just realized. Gotta go like this. I'm trying so hard not to scratch this thing. Oh shoot. I'm an idiot. It's not the right way. Whew. Oh my arm is getting tired. It's just sitting up there. I still gotta throw the bolts in that allow it to uh, pivot up and down and stuff like that, but at least it's there. <laughs> it's there. Oh my God, this is so sick. All right, you guys, this thing, <laughs> this thing is it's like really nasty, man. Oh my God, it's nasty. Check this thing out. That's gonna do it. I, I don't think I'm gonna, just because I put the locking nuts on there, I don't think I'm gonna tighten everything all the way down because I'm gonna have to pull it back off uh, pretty soon anyway for purposes. Um, but it's look it looks sick. It's so aggressive, which is what I really love. I love aggressive, like kind of like race inspired builds or even just flat out race cars, really. So uh, this is where I'm gonna end this video, man. If you like these videos and wanna watch more of the FRS Rebuild series, just make sure you like and subscribe. Comment and tell me if you think it's ricey or if you think it's cool. Uh, either way, I, I mean, you know, that's your opinion. Um, I'm gonna end this right here. Peace out, see you guys next time.